And this is just an added element. I'm just taking what I see from your work. And I'm being inspired by this, the drawing that you did. And I'm turning also the, the, the father's um, eye line and head to looking at the child. Instead of that snooty, um, you know, upturned look, by actually giving him a change in the angle of the head, we actually make it feel like he's actually looking at his bratty son, or so, he's, so he feels. He's like, I'm gonna die. I told you I'm not gonna take you to Disneyland if you keep dying like this, and you're not gonna go on that ride, and I'm not getting you the kettle corn. And once again, there's your teacher making funny voices in his head, but it's like that idea by getting into, um, you know, either people you're observing or your own characters really helps you bring out the story and helps you get into it, you know. Um, you know, they always say animators are actors with pencils. Well, so are character designers, too, you know. Um, we're like stand-up comedians, almost. Some of us aren't funny at the same time. And I'm, what I'm probably going to do is I'd probably push his back out a little bit more in silhouette. So I actually feel, I can actually see the kid. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I want to get to working with you guys <clears throat> in your projects this class. All right. So I'm just going to draw over it with darker pencil real quick. You can kind of see though, still, help, still see how my outside shape is pretty simple, but it's interesting enough that it's not boring. Maybe we get a stop here where the elbow would be. Once again, simplifying, coming up with a shorthand for doing, um, uh, you know, a, a hand, a gloved hand. It's actually wrapping around something. Maybe to add a little more character, I might, you know, add a rip or something in there. Nasty sweat stains. Once again, anything to help add character, help uh, better the story is a good thing. Now, I normally, you know, want you guys always, well, it's always important to push silhouette, but for this situation in terms of designing it as a um, two-figure composition, as one single design, I'm actually overlapping quite a bit and almost trying to start to use tangents to my advantage. When you understand a tangent, you can use it to your advantage in a way to lead the eye, okay? I always overlap a little bit. Some other designers will actually make, make it actually create a definite tangent in there, um, using in that way to once again direct the eye. Now it's like almost like he's really being dragged or picked up, you know, off the ground. Can you draw a little? Uh, draw, oh, sorry, yeah. You're like, oh man, I can't see what's going on down there. You're missing that awesome sauce. So um, that's where it was and that's kind of what I'm going to deal with it. And I'll show it to you at the end. And whoever's drawings these are, you guys get to take them after it. So it'll help for you to compare your own. And just putting the mouth a little agape, it just helps, you know, create, once again, a little bit more interest, a little bit more what's going on.
I mean, I could do many other things. I mean, I guess I should probably put, maybe he's got. I don't know. It's a pinwheel thing or something. I don't think any kid would buy a pinwheel nowadays, but hey, whatever. I'm having fun with it. I'm using it actually as a shape. I want to do a lollipop, but it's too round. I want us to get something with points that'll bring you back up into it. So once again, it's about leading the eye, and that's why I chose something along those lines. And when this is furthest from the eye, I might just drop it and do a shadow, you know? So it doesn't compete. Get more of a flat graphic. All right. So this is what we had. Um, I'm dealing with a little bit more story and two-figure composition. Went ahead and pushed, uh, I went ahead and pushed um, the, the pose and actually push the design a little bit more and try to design the elements together, giving you a nice sense of flow. And if you see in terms of composition, there's a nice triangle in there, okay? Triangle is present in a lot of, you know, master paintings and stuff, and it's nice to bring those elements into your simplistic designs, okay?